show you how to tie uh, braid to fluorocarbon. All right, I, I've gotten some questions on this and uh, I'll make it real easy for you. So, like I told you before, I use this high-vis braid. You can see that right there. It's high visibility yellow, real easy to see, all right? So take that end that's cut off right there. And then here's your fluorocarbon right here. Okay, I don't, I'm hoping you can see this pretty good. But I have 10 pound braid, high vis to eight pound fluorocarbon. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna take these two lines and I'm gonna create two loops just like that. All right, now make them decently long. Now hold the two ends of the braid in your one hand first and start with the fluoro, okay? Put your finger right in between like that so it creates a, a circle and then you're going to go over the line one, two, three, four, five, six times like that. Then go through the loop you created with your finger and then there's a loop here, right? So you're gonna push that back through there and grab that tag in and pull it tight. Now, make sure you wet it first because otherwise you don't wanna burn that line. And then you're gonna cinch it down just like that, all right? See that? Now you're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. So cut that tag end off, all right? Now do the same thing with your braid. So we got two ends of the braid. Put your finger in between there like that. Now make sure you go under, okay? If you come under, make sure you go back in the loop over because otherwise the knot will break. So, all right, let me show you real quick again. So I have my long, my tag end is on top. My line end is on the bottom, okay? So when I make that loop, I'm coming under it, right? So I came under. Now I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six times again. Now it's, you're going to go through the loop like that. And then take that in, go through the loop. And then take that in and go through that loop that I made right there, okay? And then you're gonna do the same thing. Wet it, now you got. Bam, there you go. See that? Now you've got your two lines married together. <clears throat> the most important thing is to make sure that whichever way you go over, you go back through the opposite way. So if you, like I said, when, you, when I pinch that together, if I go over, I want to go back through underneath, okay? So you don't want to go over and then go back through over or else it'll just break. You'll know when you do it right because it won't break, all right? So there's your tag end. I mean, there's your uh, fluoro to braid. Now, whatever, some people take a piece of um, little tiny dab of super glue and put it right on top of the knot, and that'll give it like ultra strength, okay? Um, it's a pretty easy knot. I don't know what it's called, but it works really well. It's super strong. Um, you don't really hardly have to ever have to retie it unless your line is coming through the guides a lot. Um, and what I normally do, uh, a lot of people have asked me how much fluorocarbon from the braid to go to, and I'll show you. All right, so when I make my leader, all right, here's my reel. So when I make my leader, I want that fluorocarbon to stop like right before the reel, okay? so. If, if I'm tying my knot, I want to tie it right here so that when I'm, I'm casting, the, the, the knot isn't inside of the reel. Because what happens is if the knot's inside the reel, you're constantly going to, it's going to get caught on it. So make it just outside 
um, the reel right here when you when you do it okay um, I hope it's easy for you guys to understand I hope you could see it okay um, and hopefully it'll keep your notch stronger and allow you to catch more fish thanks guys